What's up collectors, welcome back to Films by Color. Today for the first time, I'm gonna be doing a shelf tour, giving you a closer look at everything back there on the shelves behind me that you see in the background in all of my videos. I'm also gonna be peeling back the curtain and showing you the rest of the room. There's a whole other third shelf over there, my boutique shelf that has all of my boutique releases on it that you don't get to see very often in these videos. So we're gonna take a look at that too. We are right here at the beginning of the year in 2024 and I wanted to get a snapshot of what the shelves look like right now before all of the big boutique sales start happening and I start adding a bunch of new releases to the shelf and inevitably have to start rearranging things and shifting things around again. But this is what the shelves look like right now at the top of the year. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, just going to grab the camera and do this handheld style here. Step around my desk, which is where I shoot all of my videos and all of my live streams and also edit all of my videos right there from the desk set up in my office. And then behind me, also in the office, is where I keep all of the movies. So these are the two shelves that you always see behind me in my videos. And over here is my boutique shelf, which has all of my boutique label releases on it, which doesn't get as much airtime on the channel, but I love it a lot and I can't wait to show you guys everything over here. But this is it, this is the entire shelf. They stretch all the way from that wall of the office all the way over to this wall of the office. And it's hard to get it well lit in here. I can't really light everything at once. So sorry for the lighting in this video if it's a little distracting. But these are the custom shelves we had made for us. Very expensive, but if you can do it, I highly recommend getting customs made. We like them a lot. And we've even got some space up on top, right up there against the ceiling for some oversized box sets and stuff like that. And then down here, we've also got some cabinet space where we can hide away some of the more messy stuff that we don't really feel like displaying. So really love the shelves. We're gonna go through everything here on the shelves, starting all the way over here on the left with the colored shelves. In the top left specifically is the first shelf, the white shelf. And we're gonna take a look at this. You can see I've got some books up there just for filler right now until we need that space. Eventually when we run out of space down here, we will put some of the bigger box sets up there on top. But for now, I've just got some books. There's some of my Tolkien deluxe editions right there and some of the Barnes and Noble classics up there for now. But let's go ahead and jump into the movies. First thing on the shelf here is uh, one of my wife's movies actually, it's The Notebook. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, but it's actually a really nice Blu-ray edition, a uh, very cool box set. And then we've got some of my favorites, the Carol Zeman DVDs from the Carol Zeman Museum in Prague. Very, very lucky to get my hands on those. Those are only available from the museum and they do not ship to the United States, but I was lucky enough to find a seller on eBay who was selling the entire set uh, for a really good price. Uh, so very happy to have those in the collection. One of my favorite filmmakers. And I've got a few of the premium collection digibooks uh, those are very nice additions. I'd love to get more of those, but I probably won't at this point since all of those are probably available in 4K at this point. And then just some other standard white case releases, both movies and a little bit of TV in there with The Office. Then the next notable thing on the shelf is this big, huge Casablanca box set. This is just the Blu-ray, but it is one of the most intricate, beautiful slipcovers I've ever seen. The die cut slipcover, crazy detailed on there. All of that is cut out. And I have not upgraded the 4K yet just because I like this set so much. It's a huge set with a ton of goodies and extras in there. But I probably will eventually if I find a good price for that 4K, just grab it and swap out the discs. But I will hold on to that box because it's beautiful. And then we've got some more white case movies there. I'm not gonna go through every single movie today. Maybe some day down the road I'll do that. But that's uh, very daunting. And that will be a really, really long video. I'm gonna try to keep this one brief and just give you a look at everything. There's the Home Alone box that we talked about in the Christmas video recently. Some more white cases. And then the white transitions into the red section here, starting with North by Northwest, which is half red, half uh, burgundy right there. And then we continue on into the darker red. So Big Lebowski's right there, the new uh, Universal Edition. And then some other red releases. We've got the Planet of the Apes complete set there. We've got the Santa Claus trilogy here, and then the Oceans trilogy, and then the rest of the red section. Finishing up with the complete first season of Pokemon. Not actually complete. There is quite a few episodes missing at the end. I wish they had kept those going because I grew up with that show and my kids love that show. Unfortunate that they didn't keep those box sets coming. And then just a very small pink section there. Uh, just a few titles. Psycho, Pink Panther, Barbie, 16 Candles, My Fair Lady. Not very many pink spines to be found in Blu-ray and 4K, but uh, we have a few there. And we'll come over here to the orange section. A lot of orange titles there, some of the bigger Marvel movies. Transitioning into the brown section with the amazing Irish Folklore Trilogy. 
Love this director. Uh, love everything he's done. I have not seen The Breadwinner, but I loved all three of the films in this set. And then we've got the brown section, Lord of the Rings box set. This is the Blu-ray set. I do have the 4K set as well, but I love this one so much more. This is such a solid, uh, beautiful box. with A map and everything in there. One of my favorite box sets. I won't get rid of that one, even though I do have the 4K. And then uh, just some other gold releases. Transitioning into the yellow section, there is Oswald, the first Walt Disney Treasures tin. I keep that one up here. The rest of them are down there in the silver section, but uh, Oswald's hanging out up here. Then we've just got the yellow section, so uh, some Popeye shorts there. This is where all the Disney Movie Club exclusives go. Have more of those coming, but that's all I have on the shelf right now. There's the complete 67 collection, the Spider-Man show from the 60s. Uh, that's actually become pretty rare at this point. I'm glad I got a copy of that because that one goes for... Pretty high prices on eBay. Then we've got the Watchmen Collector's Edition, which includes the entire graphic novel in there. Uh, that was a deal of the day on Amazon forever ago. Got that for like 20 bucks. That's a nice set, I like that box set. And the yellow section uh, slowly turns into the green section with the Shrek box set right there. Shrek the whole story, then Marcel the Shell for May 24. The complete Psych series on DVD. There is a Blu-ray set now, but it doesn't look as cool as this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upgrade or not, because this is a big staple on the shelf. I get more comments about what the pineapple is on my videos than I think anything else <laughs> having to do with my shelves. So I kind of want to hang on to that. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna get the Blu-ray set or not. Maybe let me know in the comments if that's worth it. A couple of the green ones here, and then moving over here to the rest of the green section. Uh, starting with Sing Street, a very cool Korean edition that my wife got me for Christmas one year, uh, the year that that movie came out. And we've got some more TV shows and movies in green, ending with The Incredible Hulk, uh, one of my favorite shows to watch growing up with my brothers. There's a Blu-ray set of that as well, but it, again, doesn't look anything like this does on the shelf. Love how this looks, so I might hang on to that one for a while. Then we go to the blue section, which is by far the biggest section, uh, going from light to dark here and down to another row. We've got uh, Meet Me in St. Louis, the Digibook. Very cool edition of that. What a great movie that is. Some other light blues. Here's the... Karate Kid Trilogy on 4K, such a cool box set. They all come included with slip covers in there. And a couple others, a couple Disney movies that are all the same color blue. There's the X-Men Trilogy, uh, the Fox Marvel Trilogy, and just some standard blues. You can see going from light to dark and then all the way over here. We've got a bunch more blues down here. There's the My Neighbor Totoro like storybook anniversary edition, which looks really cool. One of my favorite pieces. That's why I've got it displayed there. There's Into the Spider-Verse, the Amazon exclusive edition with Lenticular. Very cool, but I do want to get that on 4K at some point. Uh, then we've got the purple section. I, I didn't even say. So starting here, going through the purple section until we get to the wonderful limited edition 40th anniversary of Willy Wonka. Love that box set. There's the Batman show. And then here we have all of the Disney treasure DVDs. So happy to finally have completed this collection. I don't have every single one, but I have all the ones that I personally want. All of the Mickey Mouse shorts, Donald shorts, Goofy shorts, all of the silly symphonies, all of the animated stuff that I wanted to have in my library for the kids to grow up with. You can see I don't keep them in the tins, like the Oswald tin up there. They do all have their own tins. Uh, they're actually down here in the cabinet. You can see there they are down there. They don't look great on the shelf though, because you turn them sideways, they're just plain metal case. So I don't keep them in there because I, I, I do want to be able to see them from the shelves. I like the colors that they have on their regular cases. Uh, I got to find something to do with these. Right now I don't have a way to display these, but I would like to. Uh, but now they're just sitting in the cabinet underneath. That's why those cabinets are handy. Then continuing on with the gray section, we've just got some other individual releases there. There's Juniper Tree, the, one of the Arbalos releases that I just added to the collection. There's the first season of Fargo. Love that show. Wish they would put the rest of it out on Blu-ray. I think there's the second season on Blu-ray, but I think that's it. And coming down here, we've got some of the bigger box sets. There's the animated Marvel box set. There is the big limited edition Ten Commandments box set on Blu-ray. Here's some of my Oscilloscope Laboratories editions that I just started collecting. Uh, there is the 4K of Lord of the Rings that I mentioned earlier. It's a nice set as well, but it's just not as nice as the Blu-ray set, but I really like that one as well. And there's the classic Monsters. Blu-ray box set, one of my favorite box sets. Uh, I've talked about that one on the channel before. Then we've got the Alfred Hitchcock volume one, two, and three sets. Those are all digibooks uh, with slip cases. There's a really cool Japanese box set of the first Amazing Spider-Man. And we're right into the black section, which is the other biggest section besides blue. Most Blu-ray spines 
are going to be either blue or black. Uh, there's the Jurassic Park Universal Essentials Collection that we just did a video about. And then there's the Indiana Jones Complete Series. Well, not complete anymore. Uh, and there's the Ben-Hur Limited Edition box set. I took the slipcase off because I like how it looks with just the black and gold there. Here is uh, the Golden Year Digi Book that has uh, five films from 1939 and that. Love that. One of my favorite Digi Books. And then here is the Warner Archive Collection, which is getting pretty big at this point. A couple other Arbolos releases. There's another Universal Essentials Classics over there. And then finishing up the black section all the way down here, we've got a couple, a lot of digi books right here. Some bigger, thicker box sets right there. Avatar The Last Airbender, uh, the Steelbook box set, all three seasons right there. And then we've got uh, Bates Motel, seasons one through five, one of the only shows I have in completion. And then uh, here are the G Kids releases, all the Studio Ghibli stuff and a couple other non-Ghibli G-Kids movies. This is the Harry Potter Blu-ray box set. This is actually my wife's. She had this before I even met her. Uh, she's a huge Harry Potter fan, and this is limited edition to only 25,000. And then next to it are her Harry Potter steelbooks. We don't have a lot of steelbooks. Uh, not a huge steelbook guy, but uh, she does have some here. There's Harry Potter. And there's a couple other ones that uh, I probably should sell because I have those in other forms. And then we've got just a bunch of DVDs here filling the space until we need it. Mostly just sitcoms and other TV shows that don't have Blu-rays or movies that don't have Blu-rays like The Man Who Came to Dinner or this uh, Around the World in 80 Days, which is crazy that we don't have a Blu-ray for this. Love this movie. Warner Archive really needs to get on that. Also right next to it, we've got the, uh, the animated Hobbit and Lord of the Rings films, which also don't have Blu-rays. So those will eventually go down in the cabinets once we need the space. But for now, they're just kind of filling it up so it doesn't look empty. And then here is the boutique shelf. Again, we're gonna go through this quickly here, but this is everything I have that is a boutique label, mostly Criterion, but I've started branching out to some other labels up there at the top shelf, you can see there. And I've also got some stuff spilling over here at the bottom. So we're running out of space. I'm gonna have to start merging everything else back into the regular shelves, but I will keep the Criterion title separate for as long as I can, just to uh, have a nice little set over here when I do my Criterion videos. Up top, we've got some film books up there. We've got the Wes Anderson book, uh, some of the TCM books, the Noir Bar, the Summer Movies and the Christmas Movies, some other box sets. There's the big Ingmar Bergman box set. There's the Green Knight from A24 as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the top shelf here, starting with the World Cinema Library box set for Eric Romare's Tales of the Four Seasons, Probably the nicest box set I own. Uh, love that set. I don't care that Criterion just put out their own version. I'm holding on to that one because I love it a lot. Then we've got the Three Colors trilogy from Curzon. I really want to get more of Curzon's box sets. They have some really nice ones for some other filmmakers that I want to get into. So that's the only one I have so far, but looking forward to getting more of those in the future. Then we've got my Arrow video collection, uh, all of the Arrow box sets and limited editions. And then moving into Arrow Academy, we've got some Arrow Academy stuff, another Eric Romer set, the Eric Romer collection, another beautiful box set. There's the Marx Brothers. And then moving into my Indicator collection, we've got all of these limited edition box sets from Indicator, and then the individual releases from Indicator, and then a couple other labels here that I just have a few of, the BFI section, the Eureka section, and a little bit of Kino Lorber, uh, some Fritz Lang and some Buster Keaton up there. All of my other Kino Lorbers have had to move down here towards the bottom. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab this stuff out of the way. There's my Kino Lorber stuff down there. I've had to move it down there because I ran out of space, but pretty soon I'm gonna have to move it over there to the black section, like I said. Here's some other stuff. There's more Kino Lorber down there. There's uh, my second run collection that I've started getting and some couple arrow releases here. So again, I'm running out of room and I'm gonna have to merge those in with the color shelves here pretty soon. But like I said, I wanted this to be a snapshot of what it looks like right now. So I didn't try to tidy things up before we started. Let's go ahead and jump into the Criterion stuff. Here's the Carl Theodore Dreyer out of print box set and some other DVDs. There's the Eclipse series. And then getting into the white Blu-rays, we've got the Last Year at Marion Bat out of print Digipack. Here's the Nashville out of print Digipack and some box sets over here. Eric Romare's Six Moral Tales, Pasolini's Trilogy of Life, Jacques Demy, Jacques Tati. I actually ended up with two of those. I bought out a collection that came with that. That's why it's still sealed. I've actually opened mine up and watched it up there. But, uh, so I gotta sell one of these. I don't know which one I'm gonna sell. I might sell mine because it's a little beat up 
and I might hang on to the, the one that looks a little nicer. Then coming down here, just more Criterion title. Sorry for the glare coming off my lights. Hopefully you can see what we're looking at here. Very small little pink section again. Uh, and then we're moving into the orange. So we've got the Red River out of print Digipack. Ended up with two of those for the same reason. So I got to sell one of those too. Over here is the Carol Zeman box set and a couple more titles. Down here is the amazing Guillermo del Toro trilogy set. Love that box set. Probably my favorite thing Criterion's ever done. Uh, and a few other ones. There's the Picnic at Hanging Rock out of print Digipack as well. And a couple other box sets, the World Cinema Volume 1 from Martin Scorsese. There's the new Todd Browning set. There's the out of print Third Man Blu-ray Digipack and another out of print Digipack with the leopard there. Then we've got just some more normal Criterion titles down here. There's the new Pinocchio set, Princess Bride, uh, the Coker Trilogy, which I just got. I'm excited to dig into the rest of those. I've only seen the first one so far. And coming down here, we've got the out of print Hitchcock collection and the 400 Blows Digipack and several other uh, black Criterion cases down here at the bottom. Tons of good movies there. And hiding back there behind the second run releases is The Man Who Fell to Earth out of print Digipack. So that's it. That's the entire boutique shelf. That's all my Criterion titles. I'd like to do a video soon where I go through all of my Criterion titles and talk a little bit about each one. Uh, but for now, we're just going to do this kind of brief overview. That is the shelf tour. You've seen everything on the shelves for at least a little bit. Let me know in the comments if you want to take a closer look at anything individually. I can do videos on any of this stuff. If you have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to do, please put them in the comments because I am always looking for new video ideas. And I'd love to show you stuff that you guys actually want to see. So let me know what you would like to see here on the channel and I'll continue to put out videos for you guys. So that's it. That's the entire shelf tour. I hope you enjoyed going through those with me. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We've got almost 200 videos now on the channel, all about physical media and specifically about collecting physical media. So feel free to look through those and I hope you find something that interests you. And if you like what you see, maybe even consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. But for now, I'll just go ahead and leave you with this video that YouTube thinks you'll like right here. And until next time, keep collecting and I'll be back with another video real soon.